Here, 146 carbon fiber specialists toil day and night to create four complete monocoques every 24 hours. To achieve this target, engineers have developed a unique production system. All materials are first cut by an automated machine before being sent for preparation. The material is placed into molds and laminated in a vacuum bagging process which forces the layers into shape. Before being cured in a large pressurized oven known as an autoclave. Meanwhile, the production of other parts of the monocoque is underway. As operators fine-tune and cut more layers of carbon fiber with the assistance of precision laser. Once checked, the parts are ready for their union as the tub and roof are glued together, turning the monocoque into a single entity. It's essential that the two parts of the monocoque are exactly aligned so workers use a robotic arm with a 3D laser attachment to check that the sections have been coupled correctly. Once the correct dimensions are confirmed, metal sections are manually attached to the monocoque and the body is complete. After the CFK, it's taken away to be given one of its most important characteristics, its color. Here at the paint shop, it's lavished with the kind of attention that most cars could only dream of. One of 13 colors are hand sprayed over every part of the bodywork. 27 pieces are given individual attention by a specialist who covers them with 8 liters of paint. The Aventador, with its extreme lines, requires more man hours than any other Lamborghini in the past. And of course, every phase is carried out manually as only human analysis and dexterity can ensure that each surface is covered with exactly the right amount of paint. He focused on the skill of the mechanic as being key to the success of the product, and that attitude still permeates the site today. Here, 50 workers spread over 11 workstations are responsible for the task of assembling Lamborghini's latest model. Step by step, the car is taking shape, being molded from empty shell into the fully formed supercar that will leave the factory. And while the assembly line is in full flow, next door, the second critical aspect of the Aventador is being prepared, the interior. It's in this sector of the factory that a customer's individual preferences for the way their car looks can really be indulged. About a hundred square meters of leather hide in nine different colors arrives each day. Attention to detail is essential to pass the stringent quality control checks. Here, a leather specialist looks for minor imperfections in the hides and marks them up wherever found. An automated machine recognizes the marks and cuts around imperfections, leaving only pristine material for the Aventador's interior. The leather is then taken to specialists with three years training to be stitched and glued onto the various parts that make up the Aventador's interior. Back on the assembly line, one of the Aventador's most important pieces of kit is ready. This simple looking item is the suspension, but its apparent simplicity belies the creativity that goes into its engineering. While the V12 is being assembled, the body of the Aventador arrives on the assembly line, ready for conversion from an empty shell into a fully functioning supercar. As the company's latest foray in a highly competitive market, the Aventador needs a production process with efficiency to match. As important as the assembly process itself is the series of quality control checks that the car must undergo once it's complete. 
Any minor imperfection could impact on the car's performance, and its safety elements in particular must be rigorously tested. The brakes are checked in a room where the car is driven at speeds of up to 140 kilometers an hour on a rolling road. The Aventador's carbon ceramic brakes can take it from 100 kilometers per hour to a complete standstill within 30 meters. And in theory, the Aventador is capable of going from zero to 100 and back to zero in less than four seconds. Data from the anti-lock brake system is transmitted wirelessly to two dishes, then into a computer mainframe for analysis. The final task of the factory workers is to scrutinize the car in a light tunnel to ensure that aesthetic standards haven't been affected during the assembly process.